Hi, everyone. Uh, so excited that you are with us um, for our very first family boot camp with Victor Self. We are just going to give it, you know, maybe just a couple of minutes to let folks trickle in. Y'all, um, Kiki and Coco, you can make some silly faces if you want. That's okay. <laughs> Uh, and then uh, we are going to get started. So before we do get started, I'll just say a couple of words um, about family equality. Uh, my name is Tristan Reese. I'm the director of family formation at Family Equality. Family Equality is the nation's leading nonprofit dedicated to supporting LGBTQ plus families and those who wish to form them. Normally, I'm traveling the country right about now, uh, working with people who want to become parents to help teach them how they can do it, given where they are in the country, given the kind of family that they imagine having. Um, probably one that is as uh, amazing as Victor's. Um, maybe one that is as as uh, messy right now is mine. I have three kids and so our house is just chaos uh, right now. <laughs> um, but obviously I can't be traveling around the country. So instead I'm working to build all of these online events uh, to, to bring community and connection and joy to our families uh, all over the country. So we're really excited. Um, I wanna do every single week around this time on Thursday, something, some kind of physical activity to get the family moving and shaking, get some of those wiggles out, keep people in their bodies, keep people breathing. Um, yeah, so I'm really, really excited that this week we are bringing you Victor Self from Flywheel. Uh, Victor is one of our incredible board members, hardworking, dedicated, brilliant people that are really the heart and soul of family equality, helping to, to guide all of our work. Um, and uh, we're really excited that he is going to bring us some, some amazing workout today for the whole family. Take it away, Victor. Awesome. Well, I've got my two, I'm Victor, and this is, what's your name? That's Kiki, and this is Coco. So these are my girls. I um, we live in Los Angeles. My husband is busy working, working, working. So or maybe he can. No, he can't pop his head in. Uh, pop his head in, but he's working. So we're gonna work out while he's working. Um, so this is designed to be fun, obviously, but it's also designed to like get some energy out, to like have a good time while you're doing something great for your body to also challenge yourself, right? We like to challenge ourselves, right? Um, and the way that the workout is designed, we're gonna take you through a series of exercises. And what'll be great about it is that you can go through it at your own pace. We're gonna set a pace for you today, but you can go through it at your own pace. And maybe you wanna go through the whole series of exercises once, maybe you wanna go through the whole series of exercises twice. Maybe if you're really feeling like it, you wanna go through the whole series of exercises three times, um, but mostly just have fun, break a sweat together. And with that, we're gonna take it away. We're gonna start with some stretching, right, Kiki? Yeah, all right, let's start some stretching. So let's step back so they can see us. Um, so Kiki, what is the first stretch that you'd like to do? Or do you want me to give you an idea? You want, okay, so first we're gonna stretch the arms. So let's pull your right arm across your body just until you feel a stretch right through the back of the shoulder right here and through your tricep. Now let's switch sides. There you go. Good stretch, good stretch, good stretch. And you just hold it for like five to 10 seconds and you release it, then you shake the arms out. And then what's the next stretch we're gonna do, Kiki? Um, Kiki's like a rubber band, she likes the stretch. What's the next one? How about we do a little stretching for the lower body? So maybe we bend over and touch the floor. So you bend over, you touch the floor, Try not to bounce, try not to bounce at all. You want a slight bend in your knees and this is good for the backs of your legs, for your hamstrings. And you can just touch the floor with your fingertips or if you're really flexible, you touch with the whole palm of your hand and then you hold it and you slowly, slowly, slowly start to round yourself up. What's next, Kiki? Um, Do you need an idea? Okay, what if we took our hands behind our back, just like this, you lace your fingertips, and then you just start to pull your hands up, up as high as you can, and you hold it, and you just open your chest up, lift your chin off your chest, and just hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, 
and then you release it, take a deep breath, shake the arms out again. And then how about another one for the lower body? Remember we like to do this one, right? So let's curl one leg up. Sometimes you need someone to hold on to. So you, maybe you hold on to your sister, your brother, your mom, your dad, whoever it is, you hold on and you just keep the knee close to the body, close to the body. And this is good for the front of your leg. And then you release it and now you do it on the other side, right? So heel, I say heel to the glute. Okay, I won't knock you over, Coco. And you just hold it, you hold it, you hold it. And then you release it, release it, release it. Shake it out. Now, Kiki, I want you to move to the front just so we have a little bit of space. It's normally sunny in Los Angeles, but it's raining, so we're in our TV room. So now let's take a deep breath in, breathe in through your nose, hands up above your head. Oh, big exhale. And then take one more breath, breathe in, exhale. And let's do one last stretch here. Put your hands on your legs, right? Kiki, take your feet just a little bit further apart. Put your hands on your legs, just above your leg. Now flatten your back down, flatten your back up, and then make it rounded and curl up. And then flatten back down one more time. Round it, curl up, up, shake it out one more time. High five with teammates, and let's get it started. Are you ready? So we're going to do a series of exercises, and we're going to repeat each exercise multiple times just so you get the hang of it. So the first, and they're all really basic. So the first one we're going to do is we're going to do jumping jacks. Now, this is how we're going to do it. We're going to do three sets of jumping jacks. We're going to do 20 jumping jacks in each set, and we're going to do it with 15 seconds rest in between. So what's gonna happen is you're gonna to start to breathe really heavy, but it's good for you. Are you ready? Who's gonna lead the jumping jacks? All right, come on up. Coco's leading the jumping jacks. Move up just a little bit more. Ready? Move over just a little bit so daddy doesn't hit you. Set, let's go. 20, two, three, four, five. How come I'm the only one counting? Seven, eight, nine, all the way up. 11, yep. 12, and 15, yep. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Okay, so that's good. Now, so now how did that feel? How did that feel? So I want you to think about taking your arms all the way up each time, taking your feet all the way out each time. And just like that, it's time for us to start our second set. Move up just a little bit, Coco. Move in just a little bit. Ready, set, go. One, two, come on, three. Arms all the way up, feet all the way up. I don't know how many, how many, Coco? Nine, Nine, right? Ten. Eight, ten Yay! 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Good job. How'd that one feel? So now you're really starting to breathe a little bit heavier. That's exactly what you want to happen. That's a, now this set, your biggest set, your last set on this round, arms really up as high as you can, feet out, as wide as you can go. Ready? Move up, girls. Get set. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, six count, Kiki. Seven, eight, nine, ten, okay. eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Woo! Yeah. So that was amazing. We did three sets of jumping decks. Now, we're not going to take a lot of break. We're going to move right into our next thing. It's a squat. I'm going to show you what it looks like, and then I think who's going to lead it. Mm -hmm. Coco's going to lead it again. So I'm going to turn to the side just so you can see. You take your feet shoulder width apart. So not way out here and right here, shoulder width apart. You're going to sit down like you're sitting into a chair, right? And as you sit down, your arms go out. Sit, and then right back up. Tuck your hips under, squeeze your butt, and then you do it again. End up. All right. Wait, what are we wait, doing? And Kiki lead it because I'm leading the next Sure. One. You and Kiki do it together. Teamwork. And I'm going to lead the one. All right? Yeah. So now we're doing three sets of 20. Ready? Set. I'll count. Go. One and two. You're going to go as deep as you can, but I don't want you to drop your chest. You should always be able to see us. Yep. Seven. Good. Eight. Nine. Sit back into your heels. Just stick your butt out. It's okay if someone's behind you. Just stick your butt out in the face. <laughs> 14, I think. Yeah. We got five more. As deep as you can. Four. Good. Three. 
two, one. That was awesome. Now, good news is you did one set. Better news is we get to do two more. We get the opportunity to get a little bit stronger on the next set. Are you ready, girls? 20. Who's counting this time? You gotta count loud. Okay, ready? Set. Beat shoulder width apart. Toes and knees forward. Let's go. One. And two. Go. Three. I love it. Four. Five. Are you squeezing six, your butt? Yep. Seven. Good. Eight. Yep. Nine. Keep going. Ten. Halfway. Eleven. Can you count louder? Twelve. Good. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. Oh my goodness. Sixteen. Seventeen. Eighteen. Nineteen. Twenty. I love it. I got some squat masters in here. They are killing the squats. How are you doing on it? Are you doing great? I'm sure you're doing great. We get the opportunity to do how many more sets? One more set. One more set. I want you all counting with us, even though we can't hear you, we can feel your energy. One more, and then we move on to our next exercise. Ready? Set, let's go. One, two, three, three. good. Four, yes, five, and six. Go as deep as you can. Seven, eight, keep going. Nine, now the last 10, you go even deeper, go. 10, nine, come on. Eight, keep going, Kiki. Good job, Coco. Six, and five, eight, four, three, two, one, high five your teammates. So we always high five our teammates, right? Because they're our support system. They help us when it gets challenging. So now, next exercise. This is Coco's favorite. She loves this one. I think, do you do this at soccer practice? Yeah. Okay, so this is called the high knee run. Well, you ready? for cardio on Zoom. All right, so when she does her cardio workouts to train for soccer, this is one of the exercises she does. So Kiki, we're gonna step to the back. Coco's gonna to come to the front. This is called the high knee run. Show what it looks like, Coco. So knees up, knees up, knees up, knees up, knees up. Okay, good. We got three sets of those, right? Yep, how many? We're gonna many? do 20, we're gonna do 20. This is gonna be challenging. Are you up for the challenge? Yeah? Are you up for the challenge? Yes, are you up for the challenge? Up for the challenge? Yep. All right, turn around. Ready, set, now. Oh, one thing real quick. I know some people can't do the impact, right? So I'm gonna show you what the low impact version looks like. So if you have trouble with the impact, I'll give you an option. Okay, ready? Yeah. Set, go. One, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten, nine, eight, seven. Pump your arm. Five, four, three, two, one. Amazing, amazing. I hope you're able to see that low impact option. You just go a little slower, but you still pull the knees up as high as you can to the chest. Now, we were doing the high knees. The knees are one part of it. What's the other part of it? Your arms. Your arms. So how, what do you do with your arms? Move them. You so move them as fast as you can, fast as you can, right? Yeah. Okay, you ready for the second set? Mm -hmm. One, two, three, go. One, two, three, four, five. Pump the arms. Faster. Eight, yeah. Ten, ten, nine, get those knees up. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Amazing. Is anyone breathing heavy? Me. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Are you getting a good workout? Yeah. Yeah? Okay, you ready to do one more step? Yeah. One more. One more. Until the next thing. All right, are you ready? Here we go. In five, in four, in three, in two. One, go. One, two, three. Get those knees up. Five, six, seven. Come on. Higher, higher. Ten, ten, nine. Go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Wait. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. No, no, no. We're going to move back close. All right. Yep. That's what happens. You start to get hot. You start to sweat. All that is is your body telling you that it's doing exactly what it's supposed to be doing, right? I was okay. gonna rest my head on the window seal because it's cold. All right, ready, <laughs> Kiki? Mm -hmm. Kiki loves the next thing. What is it? It's oh, a burpee. It's, it's a burpee. So Kiki, I want you to show them what a burpee looks like, but I want you to show them from the side, okay? Yeah. Don't worry, they'll see you just look this direction 
and show them what a burpee looks like. Okay, ready? Jump down to the floor, a push up, hop, and jump. Jump, push up, hop up. Now, turn around. Now, show them from the front. Just one time. Ready? Show them. Up, down, push up, hop up. There you go. Okay. Daddy, Perfect. Can you Perfect. See her? They can see her. Okay. So, if you're not ready for that, I'm going to give you an option. So, just move to the back. This is what it looks like. You're just going to reach up, bend over, walk down, do a push up, or maybe don't do a push up, walk up, and reach up. You go at your own pace, but keep challenging yourself. All right, are you ready? We're only gonna do these 10 times, 10, 15 seconds rest. We do three sets. All right, are you ready? Move up just a little bit. Get set. I'll show you the lower impact option. And go. One. Two. Three. Keep going. Four. Yeah. Five. Come on, come on, come on. Okay, last five. Last five. Go, girls. Go, go. Six. Yeah. Seven. I love it. I love it. I love it. You just got three Eight. more. Then get some rest. Three more. Eight. How many more? Nine. Nine. One more. One more. Ten. There you go. Okay. Awesome. Awesome. Now, how'd you feel? That one's a little bit more challenging than the other things that we did. So the way that it works, we build the intensity from one exercise to the other so your body's ready for it, even if you feel really, really challenged. Did you feel really, really challenged? Yeah. You just keep asking your body, I want to do one more. I want to do one more. I want to do one more. And before you know it, you've gotten to 10. Are you ready for the second set? Mm -hmm. Okay, ready? Get set. Ready, Coco? Yeah. Are you out of breath? Yeah. Good. That's where you're supposed to be. Go, one, two, three, keep going, Kiki, four, Coco, you're a pace setter on this one, five, keep going, six, there you go, Kiki, proud of you, seven, you too, Coco, eight, nine, just one more, just one more. 10. Wow. Wow. There, that's so nice. I don't know about you. I'm sweating. Are you sweating? Yeah. Yeah, I'm dripping. I'm dripping. Woo! Well, I don't usually sweat, but I'm really hot. She doesn't usually sweat, but she's sweating today. One more. Are you sitting down? Was that sitting down? What are you doing? Okay, one more set. This is it. This is the one that really counts, because now you're like, ah, 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 I don't know if I can do it, but you can, you can do it, all right? Because you already did it. One more time. Twice, we did it twice. You did it twice, good point, Coco. Set, go. One, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, girls. Two, yeah, go. Three, low impact option, keep going. Four. There you go. Five. Come on, come on. Last five. Six. I am so proud of you all. Seven. Encourage your teammates. Encourage your teammates. Eight. Last two. Nine. Let them know they can do it. Let them know they can do it. Give them a pat on the back. Ten. Amazing. Okay. All right. So here we go. We got to keep going. We got to keep going. We have to do our push-ups now. Our push-ups, okay? Are you ready for push-ups? Yeah. All right. Maybe Jenny will bring you some water. Maybe Jenny will bring you some water. Could they have some water? All right. So while we're waiting on the water, we're going to go right into push-ups. Who's leading push-ups? I'm leading push-ups. Okay, I'm in the middle. Now, here's how we do the push-ups, all right? Most people know how to do them, but just in case you don't, hands are going to be shoulder-width apart. All right, you're going to take it down. You're going to come up onto your toes. You're going to push down and up, down and up. All right. Now, you can also modify by putting your knees down on the ground and just shorten the range of motion a little bit. Your goal is to just do the repetitions. Sometimes it's not going to be pretty, but you're just going to get it done. All right, are you ready, girls? Yes. 
Get set. Okay, take it down on the floor. We're going to go five, four, three, two, one, go. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good job. Now shake your arms out, shake your arms out, shake your arms out. You'll get water after you finish two more sets of push ups. Okay, you ready? Wait. We got another set. Another set. How'd you do on that one? How'd you do on that one? Did you fight to do all 10? All right, ready? Let's go. Second set. Ready? Set. Go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, Three, two, one. Good. You just have to do one more. That's it. Just one more. Just one more. That's all. Okay? Ten more. Ten more. But one more time. Yeah. All right. Are you ready? Here we go, team. We are in the home stretch, by the way. We're almost done. We're almost done. So hang in there. All right. Get set. Take it down on the floor. And go. Ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good job. Amazing. So a little water break. Get your water. Get your water. All right. So let's do, girls, we're just doing one more exercise. Just one more. Okay. We're just going to go right to our core work. Okay. Right to our core work. So this is what I want you to do. The girls don't know this one, but I'm going to show them. So first you're going to put your water down, right? You know, I might know it because I might know it from soccer. You might know it from soccer. So we did a lot of core work when we were doing the squats. Believe it or not, that's a great core exercise because you've got to stabilize through your core as you go into the squat. And then when we're doing the push-ups, it's another great core exercise. So now we're going to do something for the sides of your body, your obliques. So you're going to take one hand up. Put it behind your head. It looks like a little triangle right here. Then you're going to take the other hand right down by your side. And all you're going to do is go down. You keep your hand on your leg and right back up. Down and up. Down and up. Now, when I say go, we're going to do 20 on one side and then 20 on the other. Are you ready? Hand up. Make a triangle. Get set. I didn't say go yet. And now, square your hip forward. All right, hand right by your side, stand up tall, get set, go. One, two, move in just a little bit, Coco. Three, toward me. Four, there you go. Five, now go as deep as you can. Keep your hand on your leg. Eight, nine, just come straight up. Ten, ten more, Coco. Nine, go. Eight, seven, keep going. How many? Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Now we did that side. I thought after ten. And we got to do the other side. Hand up. Behind your head. Right on the leg. Get set. Go. One. So here's the trick. Keep the leg, the hand in touch with the leg. Go as deep as you can. And then remember, keep count, Coco. I think eight. that's eight. Yeah, you're counting. Nine. You're working the opposite ten. side of the body from the arm, ten. right? So that elbow up, Nine. that's the side of the body you're working. Eight. Good. Seven. Yes. Six. Yes. Five. Keep going. Four. A couple more. Three. And. Two. And. One. I love it. I love it. Now, we're going to do one more exercise. One more exercise. And then, and then we stretch, and then we're done. Okay, you ready? So you're going to take your hand out like this. Take your hand out like this. And all you're going to do, move up just a little bit, Coco. You girls stay in front so I don't hit you. You're going to pretend that you're swinging your arms to one side. So swing, back, swing, three, four, as hard as you can. Five, we're going 20 times. Sit just to the center. Seven, eight, nine. Good. Ten. Ten more. Ten. Nine. Now try to stop in the middle. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. 
one. Amazing. Now we gotta do the other side. And then we get to stretch. But okay? Are we doing mountain climbers? So no mountain climbers today, all right? So hands out. We're gonna go swinging this direction, and you only come back to the center, okay? Ready, set, go. One, two, three, chin up, four, keep your arms up, five, the little drop, six, seven, eight, go, nine, swing hard as you can, ten, ten, nine, where are you going? Eight, seven, six, how many? Five, four, three, two, one. High five your teammate. You did it. You did it. You did it. You did it. I'm really proud of you. We had a lot of fun doing that with you. So remember, what did we do? We did a couple minutes of stretching in the beginning, 20 jumping jacks, three sets, 20 squats, three sets, 20 high knees, three sets, 10 burpees, three sets, 10 push-ups, three sets. Then we worked the sides of our body, like the sides of our body, the sides of our body, the sides of our body. Now we stretch and we get out of here. So just take a deep breath in, bring your hands up, 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 up. And then as you let go of the breath, just start to bend your back forward, reach your fingertips or palms down and just hold it right there for just a second. Take a couple breaths. Cause she's like a rubber band. Slowly start to round yourself up. We're going to repeat the arm stretch. So one arm across the body, pull it across, pull it across, pull it across. Okay, release it, switch sides. Awesome. Shake your arms out. Now we got to balance, right? So let's curl one leg up. Okay, I got mine too. We all got good balance here. Hold on to it, hold on to it. Okay, release, shake that leg out, switch sides. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. Release it, shake it out. Look at the person next to you, tell them they did a great job. job. You did a great job. job. You did a great job. job. You did a great job. Thank you guys for giving us the opportunity to do this with you. We love exercising in our family. It's one thing that we that we love to do together. It's also something that during this really challenging time, we can all do to give our give ourselves like a little mental break to just like have a little piece of normalcy because exercising is something that we do in our everyday life, and coronavirus can't take that away from us. So. Really excited to have had this opportunity to do this with you. We hope that you had a great time. If you have any questions, I'm sure Family Equality can uh, let you know how to get in touch with me. It was our pleasure, and I hope that you have a great uh, rest of your day and make the best of this situation that we're in. And remember, stay home, right? right. And if you do go out, put a mask on. And if you do out, put a mask on and some gloves, but don't go out. Yay. Just <laughs> thank you thank you so so much you are right even though we are all cooped up inside it doesn't mean we can't break a sweat so thank you everyone even though they might not be able to hear you i bet if you say thank you loud enough to your computer screen victor and kiki and coco are going to hear it all the way across the computer screens and the wi-fi networks thank you so much um as a as a quick reminder, this family boot camp is part of a larger program um, that Family Equality runs. The neighborhood is a virtual hub for LGBTQ plus families. And it offers a bunch of activities like this, but also meetups for parents, um, workshops for teens, story time for kids, you name it, we've got it. So if you wanna see more of those events, visit familyequality.org. I'll put the link in the comment threads of the live stream as well. But with that, the family boot camp has come to an end and we are all eager to grab water and, and get some rest. So thank you for joining us. And thank you to Victor again. Um, we, will, we will see you guys later. Thank you.